Hello friends, I welcome all you to this Pharma family again. Today in this video, I just want to explain you briefly regarding the systemic and pulmonary circulations. These are the two different type of circulations which are very important and easy to grab. So first to go into depth, actually the left side of the heart will pump oxygenated blood into the systemic circulation to all the tissues of the body except the air sacs that is alveoli of the lungs. The right side of the heart pumps deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary circulation to the air sacs that is alveoli of the lungs. So going in detail regarding this, actually in the postnatal that is after birth the circulation, the heart will pump blood into the two closed circuits with each heartbeat that is systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation. These two circuits are arranged in series, the output of one become the input of the other. As would happen if you attach two garden hoses. The left side of the heart is pump for systemic circulation. Left will indicate pump for the systemic circulation where it receives bright red oxygenated blood from the lungs. The left ventricle ejects blood into the iota. And then from the iota, the blood will divide into two separate streams, entering that smaller systemic arteries which carry it to all the organs throughout the body except for the air sacs of the lungs which are supplied by the pulmonary circulations and systemic tissues these arteries will give rise to small diametric arterioles which finally lead into extensive beds of systemic capillaries these systemic capillaries will help in exchanging of nutrients and other gases which occurs across the thin capillary walls the blood unloads this oxygen that picks up the CO2. In most of these cases, the blood flow through only one capillary and then enter into the systemic venule. These venules carry deoxygenated blood away from the tissues and merge to form a larger systemic veins. Ultimately, the blood flows back to the right atrium. Here from the right atrium, the right side of the heart is pumped for the pulmonary circulation where it receives all the dark red deoxygenated blood returning from the systemic circulation. The blood will be ejected from the right ventricle, will flow into the pulmonary trunk where it branches into the pulmonary arteries which carry blood to the right and left lungs. In pulmonary capillaries, this blood unloads the CO2 which is exhaled and pick up this oxygen from the inhaled air. The freshly oxygenated blood then flows into the pulmonary veins and then it returns into the left atrium. By this we can say that the left side of the heart will pump oxygenated blood into systemic circulation to all the tissues of the body except the alveoli of the lungs. Where the right side of the heart pumps deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary circulation to the air sac of the lungs. Here we can see in this image we can observe the different types of uh, flow charts. That is, uh, red indicates oxygen rich blood and blue indicates oxygen poor blood. They travel different uh, through different capillaries. Here indicates the two, four different types of capillaries. That is, pulmonary capillaries of left lung, pulmonary capillaries of right lung, and systemic capillaries of heart, that is, head and the upper limbs, and the systemic capillaries of the trunk and the lower limbs. And the systemic or capillaries where the blood loses oxygen and the gains CO2. Here we can see in this diagram of the right side from the first step. Uh, first the right atrium where we contains the deoxygenated blood. It, uh, this deoxygenated blood will move through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. From the right atrium it moves to the right ventricle with a wall called tricuspid wall. From then through the pulmonary wall. It moves into the pulmonary trunk and pulmonary arteries where it moves into the lungs where the pulmonary capillaries blood will lose CO2 and it will get its oxygen. These pulmonary veins which we get is oxygenated blood. From deoxygenated blood we get after moving into the lungs we get oxygenated blood. This oxygenated blood will move to left atrium. From the left atrium, it moves to the left ventricle with a wall called bicuspid wall. Right side is tricuspid wall and the left side is bicuspid wall. From the left ventricle through the aortic wall, it moves to the aorta and systemic capillaries. From then it moves to different type of vena cava that is superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus. I think in this video, we have gone through the different type of circulations, how the blood flow, how the deoxygenated blood 
converts into the oxygenated blood now how it moves to the tissues and other organs i think this video help you a lot here by this i can conclude that we have co covered the topic of systemic and pulmonary circulations soon in the com my coming video we are going to focus on coronary circulation thank you i hope this video likes you a lot and please like comment and subscribe to my channel that is pharma family and i request you to uh, ask me some of the topics which we need to cover most thank you